armbands got me through a lot of running years for sure, but I'm just saying that there are quite a few better options and I haven't used an armband in a really long time. So if you are intrigued, definitely some people use them. For me, it is not my favorite, so we're gonna not talk about that today in this video. Instead, I'm gonna talk about my five other ways that I like to carry my phone. So let's go ahead and get started on this very first one. This is the flip belt. Now, this goes around your waist, so you can either wear it kind of up high towards the middle if you're okay with that, or you can put it down lower on your hips. Now, I prefer it down lower on my hips. You just kind of have to adjust it right so that the phone feels okay how you put it in the pocket. But this is has plenty of storage space, space which is why it's so popular with runners. Um, the phone goes in this large pocket here and you can either choose to have the phone on the front of you or you can turn it and have the phone on the back of you. And if it carries everything else that you might need on your run, such as if you have small water bottles, I, besides my phone, put these little small water bottles in the pockets of some of the other things that I'm showing you, they're from Fitly. They're just like these five ounce flasks and they're great for some of those shorter runs, you know, around an hour, hour and a half where you know you're gonna need a little bit of water. So these can carry those, these can carry, you know, gels, keys, IDs, anything like that. So not only will they, is it great for your phone, but it's also great for carrying whatever else you need. All right, number two, if you are in the colder months and you're going to be wearing a jacket or a vest of some sort, that's a great way to carry your phone without having to worry about, you know, what other clothes you're wearing and if they have a way to carry your phone or not. So here is a vest that I wore this morning. It was about 20 degrees and I just pop my phone in the zipper pocket and go on my way and I don't notice it at all. There's no bouncing, it's not uncomfortable in any way. So I would just make sure that whatever you choose, it fits comfortably, it's not too loose of a jacket or anything like that that would you know, be bouncing. If it's, if it's a great fit and you put the phone in the zipper pocket, then that should work great for you. Um, here is another option that I have, a jacket. Same thing, it has you know, zipper pockets on the front, so great to carry the phone in, but it also has this one on the back. So a lot of jackets you'll see, especially for running, will have a pocket on the back like this. And this is great for carrying those fitly water bottles that I talked about, nutrition, or your phone, as long as you don't feel like you need quick access to your phone, you just wanna have it more there for an emergency. And moving on to number three, is a hydration vest or hydration pack. Now, I know that you may not be running enough miles to think that you need something like this, so stay tuned because I'm gonna be talking about two more awesome options that you can wear anytime, those are coming up. But if you are going to be on a run that's hour plus, you know, getting up to two hours, then you should be carrying water with you all the time anyway, especially on those hot runs. And I don't know, I love this vest. It really doesn't bother me to wear it at all. I'm so used to wearing it. It's very light and it's a great way to carry your phone as well as your hydration. So my recommendation here with this particular vest, and this is the Nathan Vapor How 4 liter. The men's is called the Vapor Car and looks similar, but it's just different colors. My recommendation is with your water bottles that come with this, I put them here and here, and it's easy enough to just fit my phone down inside with the water bottle. Or if you're not running for a really long time and you only need one water bottle, then you could easily put the phone on one side, the water bottle on the other side. The other option, if you don't need quick access to your phone, it has this large pocket on the back and you can put the phone in there no problem. One other option along the same lines as this is a pack called Fitly. They have these minimalist packs and some of them have the water bladders in them too that you can drink from. They have one option though that is really just a pack meant to carry things like, like your phone, like your IDs, you know, just some of those essentials like that. And they really don't have much to them, but they do go over your shoulder and then they clasp on the in the chest area and you can put your phone in the pocket in the back okay so definitely check those options out especially if you're someone who's going to be doing some longer runs all right so let's get into the fourth one before i get into my favorite which i'm saving for last but number four is something i had been wanting to try this but not able to find a lot of brands selling these for some reason, even though to me it seemed like a great idea. And this is just for you ladies, but this is a sports bra. 
um, and it holds a phone here in the back. And I have loved using this option. I'm really excited to be using this for the summer months coming up when it gets hotter. Makes it very easy to access right here if you're just wearing a sports bra or if you're wearing just a tank top over the sports bra. You wouldn't probably want to do this option, you know, anytime you're wearing something that's tighter on the neck. If you're wearing like long sleeves and it's like a tight shirt or a jacket it might make it harder to access, but definitely perfect for those warm, warmer months. It's, I've had people say, isn't that weird to try to reach back? It's really not. Hey, okay? it's very easy to just take one hand and pull it out like this and then look at it. And then when I put it back, I do reach my other hand, kind of hold open the pocket and then pop it in. And this bra here has a little hole in case you are using non-Bluetooth headphones and they have a cord, then you can put the cord through. It makes it easy for you to still listen to your phone and then not have that cord like coming up your body, right? That's definitely very nice. However, if you haven't invested in Bluetooth headphones, I cannot recommend them enough. Um, I have a blog post, I'll, I will link it below. And there's an awesome pair on there from Amazon. And then my top pair I have a video about, I will link it here, but my favorite pair that I wear, I can't see myself ever wearing anything else. I have the Aftershocks Aeropex. Those are bone connecting headphones. They don't go in your ears. They're amazing. So definitely check those out. All right, let's get into my last option. My favorite way to carry your phone for both women and men, and that is using either compression shorts or compression pants with pockets on the side. Okay, so I have shorts like this that I've used in the past that have this pocket right here, and my old phone was small enough to fit in here, but funny enough, I swear, every time I used to do this and put my phone in here, I would like butt dial somebody on accident. I don't know, and it just, it didn't feel quite right. So if you do have shorts like this, you could definitely try that if your phone fits. Um, it has worked, but it is not my favorite option. Instead, I go for shorts that look like this. And these are from Bayleaf, they're from Amazon. They are a great deal, but they fit great, great material. And they have these pockets on the side. So your pocket just easily slips in. It's easy to take it out and look at it and pop it right back in. It just makes it super simple. This is by far my favorite way to carry my phone. These bay leaf ones, I know these ones are fairly short, but the nice thing about these ones is they come in different lengths. In fact, I think this is the five, the five inch, and then they have an eight inch. So if you are someone who's worried about chafing, which I am for sure gonna make a video about, so make sure that you subscribe so that you can see that when it comes ready, because that is going to be a perfect video to do for summer. I have lots of great tips for making sure you're not chafing during those warm, sweaty runs. Um, but those eight inch, you know, they cover the thigh area so that you can not worry about that thigh chafage. In the colder months, same thing, Bayleaf has pants. <laughs> and if you've seen my cold weather gear video, I will link that. Um, I talk about these in there. These also have a pocket in the back that would be large enough for some phones, but same thing. I just pop my phone in the side when I'm running easy enough to take out. And if I need to check a text message that comes through or a phone call, or um, usually it's to switch the song that I don't wanna listen to, then it's easy enough for me to do that. All right, men, don't fear. I have you taken care of as well. Um, they are There are pants just like the ones I showed you for men, and you can either wear them as is, or you could wear a pair of shorts over those compression tights with the pocket. That would work really well in those winter months too. Um, but these are my husband's shorts. I'm gonna double check the brand. They're from Amazon, great deal and great for running, but I will link them below for sure with the correct brand. And these have the compression short inside with the pocket. It's easy enough to just lift up the loose part of the short and then reach up, grab your phone, look at it, lift up your short, put it back. Super, super easy to do that. And just an all around great option weather, no matter what the weather is. So that would be my highest recommendation, but I think anything that I showed you on this video would be great for carrying your phone. You do not have to carry your phone in your hand. There are so many options out there. So make sure that you check one of these out. All right, guys, if this video helped you today and you have something in mind of what you're gonna start using for your phone, let me know. Or if I missed something, let me know in the comments because that will help us all, right? All right, if you guys got value out of this video, I would love for you to press the like below and I will hit you up in the next video.